No one tells me what to do. Ouch! Controlling much? Hey, is that a hickey? What, this? No, I just burnt myself. Did it hurt? You have to follow the rules. A little. But I don't know it. Amara, thanks for volunteering. You broke my phone. I'm so tired of the stupid game. Hell yeah. Hello there, sweetie. Are you both ready? Yes. yes. Okay, let's do it then. Three, two, one. <laughs> I can't do this anymore. See, I told you I was the one with unlimited breaths. Jessica, why would you lie about your breaths? I didn't lie. Well, you clearly did. You lost the competition. Whatever, girls. Let's go. You saved our lives. How can we pay you back? No, it's fine, really. I'm glad I could help. Amara, you're the best. I'm sorry we're all mean to you. We really appreciate you helping us. As a thank you, we want you to have this. What is this? We all decided to give you some money. I hope it helps the situation at home. A million pounds? No, I can't take this. Take it. You deserve it. Mom! Hey, honey, I'm really sorry for the way I spoke to you earlier. It's fine. Hey, take this. You don't have to sell the house anymore. Please give me a good magic power. Mind control? Why do I always get bad ones? I want to refuse it, but I can't. Otherwise, I'll get kicked out of the school. Accept it now. But, Mom! I said do it. All right, fine. Look, it's the girl with no magic powers. She shouldn't be allowed back in the school. Who says I don't have any magic powers? I have a magic power. Really? And what's your magic power? I can't tell them. They'll bully me. I don't want to say. It's a secret. Sir, am I allowed to stay in the school? Do you have a magic power? Yes, I do. I picked one today. All right, then you can stay. Thanks, sir. I'm so scared. Imagine someone finds out about my magic power. I can't let anyone know that I got mind control. Everyone, we'll be practicing our magic powers today. Practicing our magic powers? Yes, everyone should know how to use them. Amara, you just pretend to have magic powers so you can stay in the school, right? No, that's not true. I have magic powers. If you have magic powers, why don't you want to tell me what it is? Fine, it's mind control. Mind control? That's the most greatest magic power. The greatest magic power? If you really have that power, then I want to challenge Challenge you. me? Yep, to see if you're telling the truth. Okay, fine. I'll accept the challenge. Good. Look, guys, I'm going to use my powers on Amara. Wait, why isn't it working on her? Wait, Amara, do you really not feel anything? Feel what? Why are you all looking at me like that? I know about your magic power. You can control minds. What? How do you know? Because you have the strongest magic power. I can feel it. Strongest? But I don't know how to use it. It's easy, just use your feelings. Feelings? Yes. Amara, did you accept the magic match against Jennifer? Yes. Then the competition will start now. Now? Yes. Oh my gosh, I don't know how to use my magic yet. Why so quiet? Are you scared to fight me? Okay, the magic match will start in three, two, one. Are you sure you want to kick me out of the school? That would be a very bad idea. And why do you say that? Because I chose to be in an old boys school. I'm sure if you kick me out, you'll get in trouble. You chose? What do you mean by that? Yeah, it was one of my options. That's weird. You think people don't get a pick? Well, anyway, I think you're right. So I'm going to have to report you to the principal. But miss, I don't think that's necessary. Yes, it is. For now, I'm sending you home until the principal makes a decision. But miss, don't send her home. We need her here. Be quiet. Pack your stuff. You're leaving. Hey, Dad. You're home early. How was your first day of school? I got sent home. What? Why? Because apparently I'm not allowed to be in an all-boys school because I'm a girl. Well, I tried telling you, but you didn't listen. Boys schools usually don't accept girls, so I don't even know how you go it as an option. Well, maybe I go it as an option because they need me there. I was able to help them today, so maybe I'll be a good addition to the school. True. Well, what's going to happen now? The principal will make a decision whether I get to stay or switch school by tomorrow. Anyway, I'm going to go to my room. I have to study. Okay, good luck, honey. The principal wants to see you. Okay. You wanted to see me, sir? Yes, I'm very surprised to see a girl in the school. How did you get here? Well, one of my options was to go to an all-boys school. I'm really sorry, but I don't think we can keep you here. It wouldn't be appropriate as you're the only girl here. Plus, all our students here have top grades. 
I don't think any girls can beat their grades because you know boys are smart. Wait, really? Is that the reason you don't want to keep me here? Yes, the only way would be to test you and see if you get good scores in the exam. In order to be a student here, you have to get a hundred out of a hundred. So do you think you can do it? Okay, I'll do it. Surely I'll prepare your exam paper. Don't be upset if you can't do it. Oh, I can't, trust me. I'm gonna to prove to you that girls can be smart too. We're not just here to look pretty. Hey, can I ask you something? Yes. Did you have to do an exam before starting in the school? Yes. And did you have to get 100 out of 100? What? No, I only had to get 50 out of 100. So the principal did this on purpose because he thinks I can't get a good score. All right, thank you. I'm going to prove him wrong. <sighs> I'm so ready for this exam. I've been studying all night. Here's your exam. You have one hour. I'll be standing here to make sure you don't cheat. Oh, don't worry, sir. I don't need to cheat. This is going to be very easy for me. A simple house or a luxury house? Who wants to live in a simple house? Of course I'm going to choose a luxury house. Wow, this house looks like a palace. Honey, what have you done? How come our house looks so luxurious? I got the option to choose between a luxury house and a simple house. And I chose the luxury house, mom. Whoa, this way I don't have to be ashamed anymore. It's only if our neighbors decide to come visit. Do you guys want to come mine to after school? Of course, your house is so luxurious. I wonder what Mara's house looks like. I've seen it. It's really disgusting. Hey, what are you guys talking about? Why are you talking to us? What did I do wrong? You are wrong because you're not rich. Let's go, Jenny. What? This year, our class sleepover is going to be at Jenny's house again, okay? I don't mind sleeping at hers. Her house is beautiful, unlike Amara's house. Guys, don't you want to come to my house? I'm having a birthday party there. In your smelly house? <laughs> it sucks. I don't want to come. I don't want to come either. It's dirty. But my house is not as old as you think. Don't lie. I've seen you go to your house after school. It looks really dirty. Enough. All right, Amara. I'll give you a chance. Everyone's going to your birthday party, but if your house is what everyone's saying it is, the sleepover will be at Jenny's house. Okay, sir. I understand. They'll soon know the truth, but I have to get ready before they come. I hope I'll get a nice hairstyle. Two ponytails. If I accept, all my friends are going to make fun of me because I look like a little girl. It's okay, honey. It's a trend now. No, mom. It's not. I'm going to refuse it. Look how pretty my hair is. Yeah, it looks really good. I wish I got that hairstyle. Where is your hairstyle? You didn't get one? I did, but I rejected it. You should pick a unique one so your soulmate can find you. Yeah, I'm gonna accept the next choice I get. I chose a half up, half down ponytail. I chose a bun. You guys are lucky. Don't worry, just keep refusing until you get a good one. Yeah, I did that as well and it worked. Wow, then I have a better chance of getting a good hairstyle. I hope this time they'll give me a good hairstyle, which is better than my friends. Huh? Bold hairstyle? That means I'm not gonna have any hair. Why would they even give me this choice? It's okay, honey. Just accept it. Your hair will grow healthy. I don't want to, mom. You should be thankful. Stop I'm not being picky. picky. I'm gonna refuse it. I'm worried about you. You haven't picked a hairstyle yet. You have to quickly pick one so you can marry your soulmate. Calm down. I still have time. Hopefully, they'll give me a hairstyle this time that I like because I'm so tired of this. Huh? A book cut? Not happening. I'm not cutting my hair. Sis, there's an old man staring at you. You have to pick a hairstyle quickly so you can get married and no one will stare at you anymore. No, I'm refusing it. I can't believe I still haven't gotten the hairstyle I want. I heard that if you get two braids, you're a special person. What do you mean a special person? You'll get treated like a queen with that hairstyle. Gosh, you still haven't picked? How many times have you refused? Three times. But you only get three chances. Now you'll never meet your soulmate. Calm down. Special people get to choose four times. And I'm sure I'm going to get to choose again. But you're not special. Yes, I am. Just watch. Don't give me another choice. I really hope so. I'm starting to get a bit worried. What if they don't give me another choice? Yes, I knew it. They're giving me another choice. Okay, hopefully this time they'll give me braids. Huh? Two braids? I managed to get the special hair! Don't accept it because... It's okay. This hairstyle is profitable. I don't want to waste this opportunity, so I'm gonna accept it. Huh? Where did you get this drink from? My mom gave it to me. That drink isn't just a normal drink. This drink is... 
This drink is prohibited. They cannot be drunk. There used to be only one person who could make this drink. People tried to get the recipe, but it was impossible. Why was it impossible? May I know what your mom's name is? Grace. Grace? She was my father's assistant. She's the only one who can make that potion. The effect of that potion made people forget their memories. Then what should we do, Dad, so that her memory can come back? You have to make your mom drink this. Once she does, you'll get your memory back. Okay, I'll go give my mom the drink now. Thank you. You're welcome. Mom, I'm home. Honey, where were you? I went to a friend's house. Friend? Yes, I brought you this drink. They said it's very good for the health. Okay, I'll drink it. You really think I'm this stupid? I know what you're up to. You're trying to trick me. Mom, you should drink from that bottle now. Who gave you this? Answer me. From now on, you can't go anywhere. You know what? You're the reason I'm blind. Why are you so mean to me? I'm your daughter. You ask too many questions. Come with me. Let go of me. This is the only way I can keep you from going out ever again. I have to call Chris. Hello, Chris. My mom locked me up. Okay, Amara. I'm coming there right now. Okay, I'm waiting. Amara? Chris? Hey, who's this? Grace. You? What are you doing here? Put an end to what you've done and drink from the bottle I gave to your daughter before I call the police. Okay, I'm gonna drink from it now. Amara, what's wrong with you? I remember everything. You're not my mom. Take off your mask now. Okay, okay, relax. I'll take it off. I hope I can still breathe, otherwise I did this for nothing. Oh my gosh, she actually died. Do you think we'll be caught by the police? Yes, let's just run away. Am I in heaven? Gosh, sis, I was so worried about you. Why did you take off the mask? Wait, so I'm not dead? I'm sorry, I took off the mask because my friends told me to. The three masks I took off my friends, why aren't they here? Thank you for helping me. What? Now you can be mask free for one day. One day? I thought you meant forever. Yeah, but for that, you need to give me the three masks you took off your friends. You never gave them to I me. I forgot where I put them, but I'll bring them to you soon. Okay, here's my address. Hey honey, why aren't you wearing a mask? I don't need to wear a mask, thanks to that old lady. Did I not tell you not to speak to that old lady again? Where is she? She's right there. Wait, where is she? You have to be careful with that old lady. Don't be like me. What do you mean like you? Uh, just keep your distance from her. Are you okay, sis? I'm really worried. As you can see, I'm healthier than before. They all feel guilty for telling you to take your mask off, but they don't know you're still alive. Don't worry, I have plans for you. Wait, wasn't she dead? Maybe she's a ghost. I was saved by my sister, and thanks for trying to kill me, by the way. You guys are horrible. You're even more horrible. You killed three of our friends. Okay, class, today we'll be running for an hour and a half. An hour and a half? That's too much, sir. You don't have to participate if you don't want to. You know what? At least I'll be fine. I can just run without a mask. You know what? It's fine. I'll participate. Me too, sir. Me as well. You guys ready? Three, two, one. Okay, there's no one around. It's time for me to take my mask off. <sighs> I'm tired too. Oh, hi, Amara. Oh my gosh, do you think she just saw that? It's fine, just take it off. Did you follow what the evil old lady Why are you calling her evil and how do you know her? Wait, are you serious? Everyone knows her. She's not evil. My curse is invisibility? That's not even a curse. I've always wanted to be invisible. Mom, guess what my curse is? Hello? Wait, how can I undo this? So you're telling me I'm going to be invisible forever? I thought I could just choose whenever I wanted to. There has to be a way to undo this. I can't be invisible forever. I'm so sorry. Seriously? I just dropped all my books. Wait, you can... It's because your shoelaces are undone. No, it literally feels like I bumped into someone, but no one's there. It's weird. Who wants to go to a haunted house tonight? Me! Oh, I forgot. You can't hear me. We'll meet at seven. This place is so creepy. Come on, let's go in. Oh my gosh, do you guys see that? The bottle is moving on its own. I knew there was a ghost in here. Wait, you guys don't see the girl? Wait, you can see me? I have to stay awake for 24 hours? That's easy. Honey, remember the rules, right? Never fall asleep until the time is up. That's correct. Otherwise, I don't know what can happen to you. I don't understand why we can't sleep. Did you forget what happened to David? Right. 
You all have a time that you should not sleep under any circumstance. What happens if they do, sir? It's different for everyone. Some disappears, some get sick, and some even dies in their sleep. Mom, I slept 40 minutes only. At least you'll survive. I just got three days. Take this, honey. I made you coffee. I hope it helps. I can't believe it. I have to go three days without sleep. Oliver got 10 days. But this is impossible. Rebecca fell asleep yesterday and her skin peeled. It's horrible. Honey, how long did they give you? They gave me 10 hours. Okay, hurry up and go sleep while you still can. Oh my gosh, no. That's impossible. Don't scare me. What happened? A month without sleep. Mom, that's 720 hours. Honey, that's impossible. Please open page 306. Hey, are you okay? More or less. I haven't slept in four days. Today we will learn a new topic. Don't sleep. Don't sleep. Amara, you're falling asleep. Mom, what are these planets on top of my head? You can choose where to live. Jupiter will be our new planet, so please choose Jupiter. What's wrong with Mars? I'm just going to choose Mars. Okay. Mom, I'm leaving. It's already late. Did you choose Jupiter? It's very important you choose Jupiter. Because... Yes, Mom. I chose Jupiter. That's good. When you're back, pack your stuff and get ready. We'll be moving to our new planet soon. I chose Jupiter. So did I. Hey, why is everyone going to Jupiter? Because scientists say that it's safe to live there and it's much bigger than Earth. There's much more space. What happened to the people who chose Mars? It's forbidden to choose Mars. But I chose it. Whoa, you guys who didn't choose Jupiter will regret it. What's wrong with Mars? Sir, can I ask you a question? Yes. Why does everyone choose Jupiter? Why not another planet? Because Jupiter's more suitable for humans, according to the scientists. Are you a scientist? No, I'm just a researcher. <sighs> Only a few seconds left and I'm all alone. Wait, you're not alone. I also chose Mars. Actually, we're both safe because Mars is. I wonder what they'll say once they find out my future salary is much higher than theirs. What? Why isn't it working? See, I told you you were lying, otherwise you'd be able to put your salary on public. Why isn't it working? I want to prove everyone wrong and let the teacher give me the grade I deserve. Why are you here, Amara? I'm not going to change your grade. But sir, my salary is 50 million. That's a lie. If it was 50 million, why is it on private? I'm not lying, I promise. Just get out, Amara. Why do you look so sad? It's nothing. I've just had a bad day. I know what will make you happy. Here, have some candy. Grandma, I'm not a kid anymore. Just trust me and eat it. Okay, thank you. I really hope this candy isn't expired. Mmm, it's good. Wait, what? How did it just change to public? I hope I get orange so that I can be popular. Huh? Rainbow? I thought it was only blue and orange. What does rainbow mean? I got rainbow colors, mom. What does it mean? Wait, what? I've never seen anyone get that color before. I'm scared that rainbow means danger. I need to cover it. I got orange. That means you're popular. I got blue. Why are you wearing a mask, Amara? Because uh, I got a little cough. Wait, why is there an orange mark on your cheek? That means you're popular just like me. Come join the popular group. Hey, Amara, I have a special gift for you. I hope you like it. Why did you buy me a gift? Because you're part of the orange group. They've been treating me so good because they think I'm orange like them. I hope they don't find out I'm actually rainbow. Are you hiding something behind that mask? What? No, you can clearly see my orange mark. Prove it by taking the mask off. Oh, oh wait, rainbow color? That is your purple village or yellow village. Which one do you think I should choose? Just choose the purple village, honey, because you don't have any friends. And there you can make friends. Okay, I'll choose the purple village. Look at Amara, she's always alone. Yeah, she doesn't have a dad. Continue bullying me, I don't care. You don't care? Yeah, because soon I'll have new friends at the Purple Village. Did you just say Purple Village? Oh my gosh, she chose the Purple Village. Why did they all look surprised? I just heard from the other kids that you chose the Purple Village, right? Yes. Cool, I chose the Purple Village too. Finally, I found someone else who chose the purple village too. Did anyone else choose the purple village besides us? No, just us. We stand alone. Okay, good. Guys, I know you all don't like me, but can you please just answer one question? Okay, what do you want? Why did you all choose the yellow village? Why didn't you choose the purple village? Because there's a mystery behind the purple village. 
Oh, there's a mystery? Yeah, apparently it's dangerous to go there. But that's not what mom told me. That's weird. My mom didn't tell me it was dangerous. She said I'd have new friends. Okay, I'm about to go see for myself. Three, two, one. Huh? I'm already at the purple village. Welcome to the purple village. Hi everyone. Here you'll have a lot of friends. So nice to meet you. Welcome. Finally, I have new friends here. What was your old village like? Everyone bullied me. Why? Because I don't have a dad. Don't worry, here no one will bully you. In fact, bullying is forbidden. I don't think anyone else chose the purple village besides you. I have a friend named Kelly. She also chose the purple village. But where is she? She hasn't come yet. True. I wonder why she's not here yet. <gasps> that must be her. I'm going to tell her to come over. Hey, finally you arrived. There's so many people you have to meet. Come on. Sorry, Amara. I didn't come here to live in this village. Huh? You didn't come to live here? Then what are you doing here? I came here to pick you up. Listen, you need to know that the people in this village are actually... Hi, Sam. Hey, uh, David said earlier if he loses, you'll be mine. He said that? Everyone, the match results are here. The winner is... Sam! What? There's no way you won. Let's rematch. Just accept the fact that you lost. No, I didn't lose. I was just tired. Yeah, right. I don't care. You might have won, but you're not taking my girlfriend. But that was the deal, wasn't it? Hey, David, whether you want or not, I don't want to be with you anymore. You're a fool and you're so selfish. Furthermore, I don't need a man in my life to be happy. Well, wait, I love you. Aw, you just got dumped. Maybe you should start learning how to treat girls better. There's something weird about you. Ever since you got here, you've been wanting me to break up with my girlfriend. No, it's not like that at all. Who really are you? You'll soon find out. Amara, it was you this whole time? I should have known. Oh my gosh, this is so funny. David lost the fight against the girl. Why are you doing this to me? Now everyone's bullying me. I didn't do anything. You were the one who suggested the fight in the ring, so you did this to yourself. Anyways, I need to go. Bye. I wonder what city I'm gonna get. Huh? Devil City? What even is Devil City? It doesn't sound too good, so I'm just gonna go later. Mom, I got my city. It says Devil City. What? Never tell your friends, okay? But what if they ask? Just say you got Human City. Okay, I will. I got Angel City. I also got Angel City. What city are you um, from, Amara? I got Human City. That means you're from this city. Yeah, I'm gonna continue living in the city. Oh well, that must be boring. Okay, everyone, make sure you pack all your stuff. You'll be leaving to your new cities tonight. Is everyone leaving? Yes, this city is useless. We're all going to the Angel City. That means all my friends are moving cities and I'm going to be here all alone. I wonder what the devil city is like. But I can't leave my parents behind, so I'll just go later. Those who are going to the angel city, raise your hand. Wow, everyone's the angel city. Amara, what city did you um, get? Human city. But that's impossible. Impossible? What do you mean? Everyone got a city. Maybe the system has an error. I'm sure you'll get a city later. Yes, sir. Has your city appeared yet? Not yet. It still says human city. You have to move cities before midnight, otherwise you'll stay here all, all alone. alone? Yes. But I'll still have my parents, right? Yes, your parents will stay in the city. Only high school kids leave to different cities and return when they're older. When everyone's gone, this class will be empty and you'll be dismissed from the school. So you better get a city soon. I don't want to be dismissed from the school. That's why you have to move cities too. Okay, I'll tell you later if my city changes. What if I lie to everyone and say I got the city of angels? No one's gonna know I got the devil city. You can only go to the city that's been selected for you. You heard that? Please don't tell anyone I got the devil city. It doesn't matter. What matters is you can only go to the devil city. Everyone's ready to leave for the new city. Everyone? Yes, and your city should have appeared by now. What exactly is it? I got angel city. Oh, nice. Why do you look so sad? It's a shame you got the CEO of Angels. You should have gotten the Devil C. It's a shame? What happens if you get the Devil C? So you still don't know, huh? The person who gets the CEO of Devils is... Short life or an illegitimate child? I don't want to live a short life. I'll just choose the illegitimate child. 
I can just put it in an orphanage or something. Mommy! Wait, how come you don't look like me? Listen to me carefully, okay? I'm not your mom, and today I have a really important job interview, so stay away from me. Mommy! I already told you, I'm not your mom. You're a moral, right? Yes, sir. So you're married, right? Not yet. But it's written here, you already have one child. How did my personal data change? That means you're a single parent? Yes, sir. Something like that. Alright, that gives you a good job. Wait, really? Thanks so much. Finally, I have a job. Who's calling me? Hello? Hello, we're from the police station. Police? What's wrong, officer? We just found out that you have a... Please be a long name. Please be a long name. Only three letters? I have to be careful. I can't mess this up. If I find out my soulmate's name before we meet, he could die. Don't ask questions. Okay, it can't be that hard. Hey, Amara, did you do the homework? No, did you? It's only been 20 minutes and I've already messed up. How many letters does your soulmate have? He only has three letters and I've already guessed one. You have to be careful. You don't want to kill him before you even meet I him. I know. Okay. I just have to be careful this time. Hey, Amara. Hey. What do you think about my new hat? Well, to be honest, it's ugly. Amara, everyone's saying you kissed my boyfriend at that party on Saturday. Is it true? Yes. And I thought we were best friends. Wait. Oh, cool. Mom, can you tell me what this is? It's pretty straightforward. You can accept and decline anything your soulmate wants to buy. Well, that's kind of useless. I'll let my soulmate buy anything he wants. Anything? Don't you think that's a bad idea? So you're telling me my soulmate wanting to buy food is a bad idea? Perfume? Yeah, sure. At least he cares about how he smells. A lot? I wonder what he needs that for. Is it true you're letting your soulmate buy anything? Yeah, why is everyone making such a big deal about it? Just be careful. Whatever. A rope? I wonder what he needs that for. Maybe he needs it for climbing or something. Yeah, true. Hey, sorry to interrupt, but you guys might want to hear this. The government gave me four million? I'll just put it on private so no one uses me for my money. Wow, this is a very big school. Yes, this is a school for rich people's children. Oh, I see. You can only enter class in one condition. What condition? You have to have at least 500k. What kind of school requires this much money? From your answer, I already know you're poor. Ah, oh, it hurts. Let go. Hey, what are you doing? You don't have to interfere. This new kid is poor. He only has 200k. He deserves to be tortured. So people at the school are beaten for having little money. Hey, your name's Amara, right? Why did you seem concerned about that new kid earlier? Actually, what's your balance? 20,000, why? I guess, you have to leave this class now. I don't want to. You slapped me? I can do whatever I want. I'm the richest kid in school. True, she is. Don't mess with her. Let's go to the canteen. Oh, I forgot. You're poor. You can't afford food here. It's only for rich people. You want me to buy food for you? What are you going to do? Borrow money of people? <laughs> she thinks she can buy food for us all. Keep dreaming. Why are you sitting here? Because it's my seat. It doesn't matter. I want to sit here today, so you have to leave. I don't want to. Amara, quickly, step aside. She's the richest girl in school. You have to listen to what she says. Why doesn't she sit on her own seat? Why does she have to sit here? Amara, enough is enough. Do what she says. That's it. I'm putting my balance on public. Look at the poor girl. Did you just finish robbing a bank? Maybe she got a sugar what? dog. No, this is my original balance. Did you guys see? Apparently Amara's balance now is higher than Gemma's. Shut up, all of you. She probably robbed the bank. I'm still the richest girl in school. It's not even her money. Amara, admit it. Where did you get the money from? I told you. The money's from the government. The government? I knew it. You're a thief. You stole money from the what government. What the heck? No, they gave it to me. I'm going to report you to the government. Come with me now. Where are you taking me? This is going to end now. You want to report me? The government man is my dad. Sir, I would like to report... What's wrong, honey? Do you know why your sister's mark won't disappear? Why? The mark she has is not ordinary mark. Huh? What mark is it? It's a magical mark that can't be erased easily. A 
I'm only here to find out who the real queen is. Okay, what should I do now? Hey, give her this drink. When she drinks this, her mark will disappear. Hey sis, are you ready to be embarrassed in front of everyone because your mark is fake? Haha, <laughs> very funny. Everyone knows I'm more suitable to be queen. Anyways, see you later. Anyone have any proof suggestions today? I do. So we have to drink this. Whoever's mark disappears is a faker. Okay, I agree. Let's start now. Okay, so... Because this is my drink, you'll go first, sis. Okay, I'll drink it now. Done. It's your turn now. Okay. My mug's still here. We have to wait one minute for it to work. So, how long does it take for the drink to work on her? For the drink to work, you have to wait one minute. Okay, got it. Thank you. Well... As I predicted, her mark is gone, meaning I was right all along. She faked it. Whoa, that's bad. So you're the fake one? Amara was right. No, she's lying. Please, forgive us, Queen, for doubting you. You're a liar. I'll prove it. Hey, sis, because you lied about your mark, you're going to be my assistant for a whole year and do whatever I say. Morning, Dad. What power did you get? I can see people's location. Can you see where your mom is? Yeah, sure. Where's mom? So, where is she? She's um, on her way back home. I need to go. I heard you can see people's location. True. Can you see where my boyfriend is? She didn't go to school. Where's Mike? It says he's at your house. What? Why is he at my house? I'm not even there. Dad, I'm home. Dad? Hey, honey. Sorry I was in the basement. Can you help me carry some boxes? Yeah, sure. There? Why is he calling me? He's just downstairs. Hello? Hey, honey, sorry I'm a bit late. Do you mind ordering pizza for when I'm back? But aren't you downstairs? Uh, no. So are you coming to help or not? Get 100,000 every time someone hates me or every time someone loves me. Because so many people hate me, I'll choose hate. Morning, mom. I'm going to school. I don't care what you do. Did you forget that I hate you? That's fine. The more people hate me, the more money I get. So, see ya. Look at that new kid. She's poor. How come she goes to school? It's okay. Hate me as much as you want. I'm only getting richer. How dare you be rude to us? Do you even know who we are? I don't, and I don't care either. Amara, have you done your homework yet? I don't do homework, sir. You're very brave. Aren't you afraid of me kicking you out of the school? It's okay if you do anyway. I'll just go to another school that's more expensive than this one. What? Hey, just to let you know, I hate you too. You hate me? But how come I'm not getting any more money added? Why isn't it coming off? Amara, I just wanted to let you know that... Wait, you're Aiden's soulmate? Jenny? Your, your forehead clearly has my name on it and I got my No, name wait, on the I can explain. You don't need to explain. Come with me. Leah, please help me. Jenny was torture me because she knows Aiden's my soulmate. What? So you're Aiden's soulmate? Yes. Ouch. Help me. Why are you just standing there? You want to know why Leah's just standing there? Because she can't accept the fact that Aiden's your soulmate. Huh? But why? Are you an idiot or are you pretending to be one? It's because she likes you, duh. Really? Yes, Amara. And if I'm not your soulmate, no one else can be your soulmate. Leah, please help me. We've been friends for a long time. I promise if you help me, I'll go on a date with you. We all know you're just lying. Ouch. Where am I? You're up early. Do you like to move your Rapunzel? You must love her. Oh, Jenny. Tell me where we are now, and why am I in handcuffs? So that you don't run away, silly. Yeah, you asked earlier where we are. We're in my family's secret tower in France. I'm in France? Yeah, just take a look outside. It's beautiful, isn't it? Leah, help me. You know my mom will be worried if I don't come home. Don't worry about your mom. I told her the school took us to France as exchange students. And that they confiscated your phone so that she can't call you. Impossible! My mom would never believe that. Of course she would, and she did. She would never doubt your childhood friend. Right, Leah? What? We're gonna leave now. Because I'm feeling nice, I'll leave you some food and drinks. But it's only gonna be enough for a couple of months. You're just gonna leave me alone? Yeah, and good luck trying to run away. Access in and out of this tower can what? only be made by a helicopter. Bye! I hope the next time I see you, I see you as a corpse. Okay, Amara, don't panic. 
I can just ask Aiden for help. Whatever I paint on my face will also appear on his face, right? But I don't have any pen or marker. I can just use my blood. Do you think he'll understand this? Should I draw a picture of a tower too? Maybe it will make it easier for him to find me. I really hope he sees that this is a tower. I'm so tired. <gasps> you need help, yes or no? This means he understood what I meant. My soulmate can control my makeup or my hair. I choose makeup, but I really hope he doesn't make me do any bad makeup looks. Bye, mom, I'm going to school. Uh, honey, what? Why doesn't it come out? I can't go to school like this. What makeup is that? You look like a clown. I didn't do this makeup myself. It was my soulmate. If he picks another bad makeup look, I don't know what to do. Amara, haven't you looked in the mirror? What? Your makeup is... It's so ugly. <laughs> look, guys, the clown is here. So funny. <laughs> Are you okay? I'm mad at my soulmate. He keeps making me look like a clown with this makeup and I can't take it off. Everyone's bullying me. What? I think it looks cute. Oh, thanks, but no one thinks that. What makeup do you really want to have? I don't know. Something simple and nice. Oh, I really hope you get that makeup look. Wait, what? Huh? Distance? Honey, don't forget to drink this first, okay? Yes, mom. Hold well on. Good girl. What's this distance thing? Don't worry about it. Bye, mom. I'm going to school. Wait, before you go to school, drink this first, okay? What drink is this and why does it feel weird? When I tell you to drink something, you drink it. Stop asking questions. Okay, okay, relax. Mine's one meter away. Mine's five meters away. Guys, I want to ask, what is this distance thing above our heads? Basically, you have to be close to that distance. If you're far, something dangerous can happen to you. Oh, I see. Mom, I'm home. Hey, drink this before anything. Okay. Here. Well done. Hey, bestie, can you help me? Of course. What's wrong? Why is my distance so far away? Don't you know that the further the distance, the more danger you're in? I'm coming over right now. I'll explain it to okay. you. Okay. Hey. So what's making your distance go further away? I'm not sure. Maybe this drink. My gosh, Amara. How many times have you drank from that? Amara, your belly's bleeding. Hurry up, let's go to the hospital. There's definitely something wrong with my soulmate. You're right, he's hurt, but why can't you feel I don't it? know, but I have to help him. He's in danger. No, you're not helping anyone before you help yourself first. I'm taking you to the hospital. Amara, hello. Are you even concentrating on this class? Sorry, miss. I'm still thinking about my soulmate. You're in class. You need to focus on the lesson. Okay, you're right. Why do I feel so dizzy? I need to find a way out of the school. I have to help him. What are you doing? You can't be walking around right now. You just got out of the hospital. I'm fine, really. I'm feeling much better. I need to find my soulmate. If the same thing happens again, that means your soulmate is really in danger. You have to search for him now, otherwise it might get worse. I already know who he is. It's Jason, because we had the same wounds. Do you know where he lives? Right, I don't. By the way, aren't you Jason's ex? Yes, and I never wanted to see you again. I can really help him give you my friend. Yay, thank you. Ouch! I did this on my wrist. It really hurts. Let's just leave. We can't go to Jason's house. It's too dangerous. But if we don't go, we can't... Oh! Did you hear that? Jason, is that you? Please, help me. What are you doing down there? I told you my parents are dangerous. Just leave before they no, come No, I'm staying here with you. Lucy, can you go get help? I'm not leaving you here alone. Just go, I'll be fine. I need to find a way to get you out of these handcuffs. The only person who has the keys is my dad. I wish you could walk. It would be so much easier to get you out of here. <clears throat> what was that? Well, who do we have here? Before you do anything, just know the police are on the way. Well, thanks for telling me. In that case, I'm going to have to get you both out of here. Before the police comes and catches me. You're not going to make it in time. Watch me. Ouch! Let go of me! I'm sorry, Amara. Where is Lucy? Why is she taking so long? Yes, the police is here. I told you you weren't going to get away with this. Guys, there's no point running. They're going to catch you regardless. Thank you so much for saving me. Of course, you're my soulmate after all. But hey, please in the future, stop getting hurt because, you know, we share the same pain. I'll try my best. 
What friend, honey? Why are my mom's legs flying? Tell her to come in. Um, she's downstairs waiting. I just wanted to say, we're going outside, so we're not going to be coming in. Okay, I'm going to go downstairs to say hi to her. Okay. Charlotte, this is my mom. Hey, Amara's mom. Gosh, I was really scared standing here all by myself. Okay, mom, uh, we're going to be leaving now. What? Where are we going to work on the project in your house? No, what are you talking about? Okay, honey, don't be late. And be careful when you come back. It's going to be dark. Okay, mom. Wait, so you can see ghosts too? No, was there a ghost? Yes, the ghost came in the shape of my mom. Huh? No wonder I had goosebumps when I shook her hand. But if that was a ghost, then where is my real mom? We need to go back there. Amara, I don't feel good anymore. I want to go home. Just wait a minute. You have to come in with me. Amara, what was that? Everyone, remember, do not draw on your face, okay? Because everything you draw on your face will appear on your soulmate's face. Huh? Who would want to draw on their face? Don't be surprised. There's a lot of people who do it. Look at Liam, for example. He's been drawing superheroes on his face for the whole day. Liam, why would you draw on your face? So I can meet my soulmate faster. As soon as I see someone with a superhero drawing on their face, I'll know it's them straight away. I would not want to be a soulmate. Why is everyone dying to meet their soulmates? Amara, you really don't want to meet your soulmate soon? No, and besides, I don't believe in soulmates. Look at my parents. They've been married for 24 years and got divorced because my dad cheated on my mom. That's your dad's fault. Look at my parents. They're still together and they're in the 50s. You never know. It's not like your dad's going to tell you if he cheated on your mom. What the heck, Amara? You're so evil. Well, sorry for being honest. Come, Amara, help me draw on my face. I'm not going to draw on your face, Jenny. She's so weird. I feel bad for her soulmate. Honey, how come your friend's face is filled with scribbles? Because she's dying to meet her soulmate, mom. Oh, but how come you don't have anything? Because I don't want a soulmate. I don't want to get cheated on like you. Huh? Jenny? Why would my soulmate write Jenny on his forehead? This is so annoying. I have to cover this. Out of all girls, why would he write Jenny? She's so weird. Leah, how come you still haven't drawn anything on your face like the others? Um, because I'm waiting for you to do it first. Why are you waiting for me? Just go ahead, don't worry about me. It's because I hope you're my soulmate, Amara. Did you see Aiden's face this morning? Yes, he has Jenny written on his forehead. But that's so strange, Jenny's a freaking psychopath. Aiden, why do you have Jenny written on your forehead like that? For the last time, I didn't even write her name. She did it while I fell asleep at basketball practice. We have the same names written on our foreheads. Could that mean we're... Why isn't it coming off? Amara, I just wanted to let you know that... Wait, you're Aiden's soulmate? I can't believe this. Jenny? What? I can't wear that. I'm literally going to school. Yeah, I'm definitely getting some time for this. Amara, what are you wearing? I know, my soulmate made me. You better hope none of the teachers sees you, otherwise you'll get a detention. They're definitely going to see me. Excuse me, young lady, where's your school uniform? Miss, my soulmate made me wear this. I don't care, go home and change. I can't, my teacher just sent me home and told me to change to a school uniform. I can't go to school in this, especially now that she's told me to change. You deserve it. Amara, didn't I tell you to change? That's it, two out of ten from after school. Sorry I'm late, miss. First a swimsuit and now a Barbie costume? Fight me in the ring tomorrow. Whoever wins gets the girl. I'm in. I have to think about how to beat David. I've never competed in the ring before. Hey, if anyone's interested, I just opened a gym. I train people to be stronger. Excuse me, sir. I want to register on your gym. Your muscles are already big. Why do you want to register? Yes, my muscles are big, but... But what? I'm going to be fighting in the ring tomorrow. The ring? Come, let me teach you. So, what do you want me to do? There is a way to win the fight. First task I'm going to give you today is do 100 push-ups. 100 push-ups? Yes, hurry up. My arms hurt. Second task, separate this wood into two. You want me to separate it into two? Correct, hurry up. Ouch. Are you okay? Yeah, it's done. Good job. Okay, the next task is... I'm so tired. Sam, the race in the ring is about to start. David's waiting. Um, okay. Okay, the match will start in three, two, one. 
go to the past or go to the future. I think I'll go to the past so I can prove things which I regret. Okay, I still have a whole day before going to the past. I better get to school. Morning, Miss Johnson. Has Emma left for school yet? I thought we could walk together today. Emma passed away yesterday, but she gave me this letter to give to our teacher. I'm not going to have time today, so can you give it? Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry for your loss. Of course I can take it. Thanks. Why doesn't her mom look sad? Okay, um, I better get going. So, I just need to give this letter to the teacher, right? Your friend Emma passed away. Wasn't Emma at school yesterday? She seemed fine. How does the teacher know? I haven't given him the letter yet. Don't you think there's something weird about Emma's death? Something weird? Emma was fine just yesterday. How did she suddenly die? You're right. I have to go back in time quickly to see what really happened. Hey Jack, you and Emily took the same taxi home yesterday, right? Yes, but she asked the driver to drop her off in the middle of the road. Huh? She asked him to drop her in the middle of the road? Yes. That's weird. Emily doesn't seem to be the person to leave like that. I'm going to the past. I have to find out for myself. You're such a disappointment. Your sister gets good grades and everything and you barely go to class. I'm tired of being compared to my sister all the time, so I'm just going to move house. You'll regret choosing to move house. I'm not going to regret anything. Welcome to your new house. Here you'll feel loved by everyone. Whoa, this place is like a mansion. It's so big. But why are there so many children here? These children are just like you. They were never loved by their parents, so they chose to come here. Come on, I'll introduce you to them. Hi guys, I'm Amara, the new kid here. Hi, I'm Gemma. I'm Lucy, I was kicked out of my old house. I'm Grace, I'm much happier here than at my old house. After eating, you guys go straight to sleep, okay? Amara, you can just go sleep right away. Okay, but um, what happened to most of the children that were here? There was like 50, now there's only 25. Um, where's Gemma, Lucy and Grace? Just go to sleep, stop asking questions. Okay. It's already morning, but where are my friends from yesterday? You're gonna regret that you chose to come to this house. You'll not be able to come out again. Why would I regret it? At least people here love me, not like my old house. That's what you think now. You'll soon know the truth. Huh? Excuse me, miss. I want to ask. How can I help you? <sighs> Yesterday, there was like 50 people here. Now there's only 25. Where are my friends Gemma, Lucy and Grace? Oh, uh, they were picked up by their family last night. You're the new kid, right? Yes. You have to be careful with that lady. Don't get too close. Why? What's wrong? She loves us, doesn't she? She's weird. You should look her name up online. Amara, you have a cell phone? Yes, miss. I have a cell phone. What's wrong? I don't want you to be calling or remembering your old family. You're right. You can just hold it for me. Thank you, dear. You might just be my favorite child in this house. Today, we're going to be playing a game. Play a game? This is the game. There will be several teams. One team has two people. Please find your partner. Why are you all so scared? We're just going to play a game. It's true. You all have to be as enthusiastic as Amara. Okay, please find a partner. Dave, will you be my partner? I can't, Amara. Can't? Why? Because I want to survive so that I can take care of you. What? Your makeup looks cool today. Thanks. Should I make you some pancakes for breakfast? Not right now, I need to get to school. Hey, you're ready for the test. What test? The maths test that starts in an hour. We never learned about this. The answer to question 25 is A. I could get used to this. Hey, do you know where Emily is? Didn't you hear? She passed away. What do you mean she passed away? She took her own life. How do you know that? I was there. Oh my gosh, why are you letting your soulmate date? I'm sure he just wants to waste time until we meet. It'll be fine. As long as they break up when we meet, it's cool. Whoa, he must really like her. It doesn't seem like he's interested in looking for you. He must be. Why would he want to stay with someone who isn't his soulmate? It must be for her birthday or something. And he's getting her a gift. You're joking, right? He's taking this too far. I don't get it. I don't have a boyfriend because I only care to be with my soulmate. So you think he's in love with her then? He must be. I have a letter from my soulmate. 
I wonder what he wants to tell me. He's at my house right now with my mom. Then your mom is in danger right now because he is... He's a psychopath. Psychopath? Yes. How do I get out of here so I can save my mom? You won't be able to get out unless you adopt someone or someone adopts you. Emily, can you contact the nursing home here so you can adopt me? Adopt you? Where the hell are you now? I'll send you the number now. Please call them quick. Where's the owner of this nursing home? The owner's right in front of you. A thousand years? What do you need? You own this nursing home? Don't be surprised by my small body. The older I get, the smaller I get. I want to ask. My friend contacted you to adopt me. Yes, but I refuse. Huh? Why? Because she needs to be an adult in order to adopt you. Then how do I get out of here? Someone's adopted you. Why are you lying? The owner just said my friend couldn't adopt me. It's not your friend. Not my friend? Then who is it? The security guard? Thank you so much for saving me. Can you take me to the police station? Sorry, I can't. I only adopted you to help you out. I have to look after this nursing okay, home. Okay, thank you, sir. Officer, how can I help you? There's a 250-year-old man living at my house and he pretends to be a kid. That's crazy. I don't believe you. I can see people's ages. If that's true, what's my age? You're 50 years old. That was just a coincidence. How old am I? You're 45. Okay, take us to your mom's house. Your mom's not in here. She left a note saying she went to the nursing home to look for you. That means she's stuck there. Officer, can you help me adopt my mom so she can get out of there? Hello? Huh? You were the security guard from yesterday. How did you turn into a child? Come on, we need to hurry up. Why is there no sound coming from inside? We have to break in. Three, two, one. Where are you taking me? There's something I need you to do for me. What is it? I need you to become a danger. Wait, what? I need a partner and I thought you'd be the perfect Is that one. like impossible? Of course it's possible and you're gonna do it. Out of everyone, why do you want me to be a danger? Because deep down me and you are the same. You just don't know it yet. No, we're nothing alike. Stop talking. Now you're officially a danger. The thing with a bunch of numbers shows how far away the person you need to get is. It looks like we're getting closer. We're here. Perfect. Now get out of the car. Wait, this is my best friend's house. I'm sorry, I can't do this. You don't have a choice. Amara, how did you get in? Are you okay? I'm so sorry for this. Mom, didn't you tell me you were going out? Do not open that door. I'll go and open it myself. Wait! This is my chance. Amara, there's no one here. Thank God he escaped on time. My soulmate wants to sue? I mean, that's a good thing because my clothes are always torn for some reason. That means he's perfect to be my future husband. Hey Amara, why are your soulmate's activities? Why does my soulmate always ask me to kidnap someone? It's better you just leave it and don't think negative. But he wants to commit a crime. That's very serious. Oh, he asked to go to an orphanage. He definitely wants to do charity. Oh, I'm so jealous of you. You seem to have a nice soulmate. My soulmate wants to go to a doll shop. There's only one doll shop in town, right? Because my soulmate's activities were weird from earlier, I'm going to go there to meet him to see what he's really like. It's 10 p.m. Do you think the doll shop is open? I suggest you don't go there. The doll shop has been quiet for a very long time. What do you mean? Just trust me. I'm at the door shop. I think it's still open. I have to open the door in the count of three, two, one. Is there anything I can help you with? Excuse me, are you Amara? Yeah. Will you accept to marry me? What's going on here? Adrian? What are you doing? That's my soulmate. You can't just ask her to marry me. How do you know I'm your soulmate? Furthermore, you're only turning 20 next week, so how do you know what initials you're getting? Trust me, I know it's you. Just give me a week to prove it. Your Highness, I'm so sorry to ask this, but can I please see the initials on your finger? Of course. You want A? I'm so glad we finally found each other. Me too. Excuse me for a second, I just need to speak with Adrian. Why are you doing this? Because you can't marry him. What is wrong with you? You're acting weird out of a sudden. Why don't you want me to marry my soulmate? 
Because I love you, Amara, okay? I don't want to see you with anyone else. Mom, I got my name. What is it, honey? It says Margaret Onions. I love it so much. What kind of a name is that? Actually, I find it quite unique. Uh, honey, are you sure about that? Yes, just imagine. Margaret Onions. Wait, you're right, it's awful. I didn't want to say anything. What am I going to do now? Honey, relax. Don't get frustrated. You can change your name. Just refuse it and it will give you another one soon. Okay. Hey, Bestie, do you already have a name? Yes, you can now call me Britney Spears. The singer? Yep. You're so lucky. What name did you get? It doesn't matter. I refused it. You can't imagine how horrible it was. Was it that bad? The donkey? Seriously? I'm gonna have to refuse again. No, stop refusing. Why not? Imagine one day I marry the prince and he says, Welcome princess, the donkey. Calm down, I'm just trying to say that it's your second option and you can only refuse up to three. And the last option could be even worse, do you understand? So this is the queen. <laughs> How can the king's face be this scary? Queen, you can't say that. Your breath smells and I'm not afraid of you. No way, we finally found a girl who's not afraid of you. I'm interested in this one. What are you interested in? Give her the best room and please be nice to her, she's special. The queen must love the king. But we just met. If in three days the queen doesn't love the king, the king will die and this cave will be destroyed. Do you like cake? You're the only woman who's not afraid of me. Just a tip, next time express your feelings with flowers, not cake. Sorry, this is my first time doing this. They said everyone who came to this cave are afraid of the king's face. I'm not afraid, but I don't want to be with someone who has an ugly face. Someone's waiting for the queen outside of the cave. Does the queen know him? Who is it? What are you doing here? I still love you. Let go! How did you do that? Because I'm the one who controls the system. What? So, all this time it was you? Yes, but sometimes the system lags. Hopefully there will be no error again. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you as well. Finally, I can put my dad's salary on public. That means I can become president today. Hey, Amara. Where's Jessica? I hope she changed the stupid rule she made up. No, she hasn't. Everyone's back in the hole. She's making sure everyone whose dad's salary is under 5,000 gets kicked out. We need to go there, now. In accordance with the new rules I've made, starting from today, anyone whose father's salary is under 5,000 needs to leave the school immediately. I don't agree. Amara, you again. You can't stop me. I'm the president of the student council. <laughs> Sir, I want you to replace me with Jessica as the new president of the student council. And why should I do that? Because my dad's salary is higher than hers. Do you have any proof? Yes, in fact, I'll show you now. What? How is this possible? Well, it's clear Amara's dad's salary is higher than Jessica's. So she will be the new president starting today. What? Sir, you can't do that. And according to what I said yesterday, I'm kicking you out of the school. Since you're the new president, do you want to make any new rules? Yes, I want to change the money rule. Anyone should be able to study at the school, no matter how much money they have. Congrats on being the new president. Thank you. I'm going to the canteen. I'll tell them you'll pay for my food later since you have so much money. Bye. Hey, wait. I hope I get a good magic power. Move things? That's not even a power. It's normal to move things. I don't want it. Good morning, mom. Good morning, honey. Make sure you're ready for magic school. Yes, mom. Did you choose your magic power? Not yet. What? Why? How are you going to magic school with no magic powers? That's so dumb. Relax. I'm just waiting to get a good magic power. I don't want to get a lame one like the rest of my friends. Ouch! Look what my powers can do. Okay, okay, stop. You're hurting me. I can hurt you without even touching you. That's a lame magic power. What's your magic power? I don't have any magic power. Then who are you to make fun of me if you don't have one yourself? I'm going to tell everyone that you don't have a magic power. No, don't! Hey, you don't have a magic power, right? No, I don't have one yet. I hope I get a good magic power this time. It has to be better than my friends so they don't bully me again. Fly? Just fly? No, that's boring. I'll decline. Honey, you refused your magic power again? Because they gave me flying as an option. It's so boring. You can't keep rejecting. Just accept one already. No, I'm waiting for a good one to appear. 
Look, it's the girl with no magic powers. You do know if you keep rejecting, you might not even get one at all. I'm just waiting for the perfect one to appear. You're useless. Let's go, guys. I'll give you time until tomorrow. If you don't have a magic power, you're leaving the school. But sir, my magic powers are still loading. I don't know when they'll give me a next one. I don't care. You have 24 hours. Yes, it's loading. Okay, this time I'm gonna have to accept it. Otherwise, I'll get kicked out of the school. Please give me a good magic power. Hurry up and give me the rain symbol. Wait, hold on, son. But my mom and dad both have the rain symbol. Oh my gosh, hurry up, cover that symbol. Here's some makeup. Huh? Why do I have to cover it up, mom? Because I cheated on your dad and your real dad had a sun symbol. Hurry up, cover it. Cheated? Does that mean I'm not your child? You're ridiculous. Of course you're my child. I gave birth to you. Amara, stop running away. Let me call your mom. <laughs> no, don't touch me. I'm going to tell dad that you're a cheater. Oh, I already know. I've also cheated on her before. Huh? When did you cheat on me? Uh, if I'm not mistaken, the day after our wedding. What is wrong with you people? Oh my gosh, Amara, you got the sun symbol? Yeah, I did. How come? Your parents both have the rain symbol. I don't know. Lucky? Why? You didn't know? Only people with the sun symbol can marry the king. Marry the king? I don't even want to. Hey, are you talking bad about the king? Get her. Hey, let go of me. Why am I in handcuffs? You will stay here until the king comes and decides how to punish you. Please, let go of me. I have a maths exam soon. If I don't show up, I'll be in big trouble. Wait, the king also had a maths exam today. Maybe he's your classmate. Let's take her to him. Okay, let's do it. Excuse me, miss. I'm so sorry I'm late for the exam. I was kidnapped and handcuffed and they finally let go of me. Um, your excuse doesn't make sense, but because I'm in a good mood, just come in. Hey, you're cheating off my paper! What are you doing? Did you just hit that guy? Yeah, he's an idiot. He keeps cheating. He's bleeding. Are you okay? Hey, you. Aren't you the girl from earlier? Yeah, I remember her because she has a sun symbol. Oh my gosh, our king, what did you do to him? It wasn't me. And who's the king? Who are you talking about? Uh, it's... it's me.